Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to change the grid settings before going any depths in uh, software. Here is a grid setting. If you ch click that, you can change the grid. If you want to show a higher grid, you can click this and hit OK, you can hide the grid. Or click show or OK again. In this grid, as you can see, we have a green and red line here. This is an Y and an X axis in 2D. This is a word center of the axis of the software. This is a word uh, coordination here. As you can see, we have a large, uh, we have a light gray <coughs> line and the dark line, uh, dark gray line or lighter gray is here. This line, all of these lines are major line and the minor line are those uh, boxes. The grid setting, if you go in here, we have a minor line every uh, 0.2 meters. The unit of the uh, symlab in a default is meters. If you go into the file and the preferences, here in advance, you can change the measurement unit to the, any point that you want. These boxes are 10. There are 10 and 10 and major line every 10 and this is on the distance it means from here to here is 2 meter you can change it I like it for example uh, 1 uh, point, uh, <clears throat> 0 0.1 meter it means 10 centimeter 10 and the 10 number of them it means this here to here is one meter it's uh, if you change it if you uh, deactivated the auto resize you have to change them but if you click auto resize it's automatically for you resizing and it means from here to here is one meter if you go into the create for example a shape and the plane uh, box this is a box delete that I explain them create coffee in shade and plane here width and height this isn't one meter and as you can see if you bring it here it's exactly this box is one meter and the number of the major lines if you want in the default is this number if you want to make it bigger your workspace and grid but not too much you can change it to any number for example I bring a higher number and tells me this is a very huge don't make that 20 I like it more mm, okay 20 is nice for me uh, so this is a number of the major line those lines the lighter gray are the major line and the darker gray are the minor line that's uh, the distance from the this box is 10 centimeter here or 0 0.1 meter so this is an grid sitting another interesting uh, <coughs> uh, sitting is auto snap and you can uh, specify the strength of the snap to the high medium and low okay I explain them more but if you go into the uh, pass and create pass I explained it don't worry uh, going to the peak point on the plane select the plane to draw your uh, bezier curve be a spline pass as you can see if you go into the grid it's snapped to the grid this is an auto snap if your mouse is here it's the, if the strength of the snap is too high it's automatically from this distance a snap but if you're going to this mm, distance from the that point is with automatically because this strength of the snap is medium if it is low you have to uh, make uh, the distance going to uh, very close to that point to a snap but the strength of the medium is nice and you can draw your brazier uh, curve very easy here or line or arc if that you want okay that's simple 
I explain them more in the future lessons, don't worry. So I just want to explain what is this auto snap that use auto snap to greet. Snapping to the greet is snapping here. And that's it. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.